Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Maureen Langan. I am at that age, post-period, pre-death. <laughs> where women become cougars. They want to remain young and relevant by association. I don't want to be a cougar. My friend Carol says, but Maureen, dating a 30-year-old makes me feel so young. I'm like, all right, but it makes you look so old. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a cougar. No desire, I don't need you, what, what's your name? Josh, you're Chad. I told you you're Chad, and that's his answer. I don't need Chad with your youthful good looks and your hot little body coming up to me, touching my belly fat, going, what's this? What's this? I'll tell you what this is. This is pain. Pain covered by affordable treats and wine from Trader Joe's. That's what this is. That's what this is. I want a guy around 86 years old where I am the hottest thing between him and death. This is him, death, him, death, him, death, 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 him, him, death, him, death, him, death, him, death. He can't believe he got me because he knows he'll never get anyone better till the day he dies. And he's not looking over his shoulder for somebody younger and hotter. You know why? He has arthritis in his neck. He can't move his neck. He has to move his whole body. And I'm gonna spot that. <laughs> and he sees none of my flaws. He sees no cellulite, belly fat, varicose veins, why? Cataracts. Cataracts. <laughs> and you know what? I love him. You better believe I do. And I look into his milky white eyes. <laughs> and I want 